All right, moving on to my third target palette. The first two are absolutely insane. Uh, let's see, this one I paid. This one I oh, this one was a good deal. I only paid two hundred fifty six dollars for it, plus ten percent buyer's premium, and then about fifty to you know, probably about seventy five to ship it. So what about about three fifty for this whole palette? The reason why I bought it was because these right there, those two things, plus there's two more below it, I believe, are some sort of printers. Um, it looked like something that they pulled out of their store, and I just figured, why not take a chance? It might be a really expensive printer, or it might not be, I don't know. It wasn't too expensive to take the risk, so let's cut into it, and hopefully I made a good, a good deal. So I only saw two on the picture, so the fact that there's two more is either going to be great or you know, more trash or whatnot to do with. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. First thing, we have a Batman transformable RC fire. Oh wow. Kind of cool looking. This will probably sell nice and quick on uh, Facebook if this works. Looks like I might be missing, you know, the little guys that come on it and whatnot, but something I'll inspect later, and it might be worth. A long lost friend. I test these things all the time. Once again, people just throw it, throw it in there like they just don't care about it. But most of the times they work fine, even though they're just tossed in here. So if this thing works, it's about 80, 80 bucks or so. Now, I'm going to completely guess that this is brand new and sealed. See this hole? That, you know, it's just sold at Target. So if this hole goes in there, guess what? It can't sell it as new anymore. So they liquidated. You can tell from the, the tape, this has absolutely never been open. That is a factory seal, and there's no extra tape covering it up. So this one little hole, fine by me, I think. I'm not sure which. Ooh, what is this? I get a lot of coffee machines. I get a lot of coffee machines with what I do. I have never seen this one. And it's heavy. Heavy usually means quality. Past years. I have a feeling this is going to be very expensive. I hope I'm right, but I could be wrong. I could be 100 bucks, which is fine. There we go. What is this thing worth? Ha! Huh. Wow. That's just mind blowing. Pre owned. 319. 229, 276, all pre owned. I mean, there's a good chance this thing's brand new too. I'll definitely inspect it and see if it's brand new. It could be worth up to like 400 bucks. For this one coffee machine. Very elite. I have sold these before. As you can see, the box is quite mangled because of that strap. Yeah, I'll, I'll fully test it and see. Usually, when there's these things are on it, they're brand new because nobody ever puts those back. So that's a good sign. So, this is like new or new or just open box it's worth about 75 dollars spin wave mopper and these two things spin both ways and probably do a really good job cleaning the floors so actually i hope this thing works and i'll just keep it Let's see if it looks like it's used or not. here's just a hamilton biatch uh, toaster oven is that how you say hamilton biatch no i'm just kidding this thing's brand new too, holy cow. You can tell by the seal. It's taped both ways. And if it was open, you'd be able to see an extra line of tape there and there's not. Great. Here's a box of goodies. This has a bunch of smalls. Cost sockets and markers. And much more, oh my. 
There's a bunch of pop sockets in here. Car charger. This looks like the clearance end cap. There's a belt and a pocket power adapter. There's some sort of activity tracker. Brand new, this is all brand new stuff. Wow. All right, back at it. Let's see what we continue to get out of these great target pallets. So this looks like a small knickknack stuff, which is fine. So they add up too. So I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly, I guess. But some things I don't know about, like it's an activity tracker. It's definitely a cheapo, but you know, even if it's worth ten dollars, that's ten freaking dollars. What I love so far about these pilots is the barcode scanners available on all of them. These are ten dollars, not even ten dollars. These are extremely cheap. I'll probably just bring these to the flea market and put five bucks on them, and they'd probably sell like hotcakes if I get a bunch of them. Here's just a car charger. There's a Belkin. You know, portable battery pack, basically. It does not want to close. Page clips. Hello Kitty. There's stickers. Pop sockets. Bunch of pop sockets, bunch of stickers. Can't imagine the stickers are worth like anything. Maybe a dollar out of a dollar bin or something. Actually, they're like $7.99 on eBay. Two of them for $15. Wow, okay, that's, that's good. What are pop sockets going for? Seven bucks for that one. These are costing next to nothing to ship. I would think a little shark's more popular. Eh, up to ten dollars. Seven, eight, nine, ten, it's all over the place. But there's a bunch of them, so that, I mean I could probably do a lot of ten of those or something. For cheap and sell them really quickly. Another activity tracker. Yeah, this is all this is really two bucks. Sleeping beauty. Some kind of little marker thingy. Another tracker, another Belkin pocket power. This one looks like it might be sealed. That might be worth throwing aside. Some little yoga book. Whoops. And then just a bunch more pop sockets. Okay, a bunch of CDs. Okay, that's cool. They're all brand new too. There's Skillet. Three of those. Voyager. Goo Goo Dolls. Woodstock. Nice, freaking CDs. See these nuts? Go ahead, just go. That's true. I know CDs aren't valuable right now, but maybe if these are older or something. Ten bucks for skillet. Which is cool. Super light. A couple things in there. Not sure why this box is so big with a tiny bit of stuff. Or I should say one thing. Not a couple things. There's a Xbox 360 headset. Probably not a lot of value, but maybe 20, if I already guess. Some Jurgens. Uh, moisturizer stuff. 
an iPhone 7 case by Otterbox. And then a Phillips little purple universal unit. A KitchenAid um, toaster oven. 1800 watts. I know KitchenAid stuff is very expensive. Brand new, 162, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's see if any sold. A box of randoms. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. You can see why I'm saying yes. 32 gigabyte iPad. Amazing. I cannot believe there's a freaking iPad in here. Good condition. Actually, it looks brand new, to be completely honest. Doesn't even look like it's been peeled back. You can tell when someone has peeled this back. Great freaking find. iPad, seventh gen, 32 gig, amazing. That's the first thing I pulled out of here. Track phone. I think it's, I think it's missing there. It's kind of weird. See the track on. So put aside for now in case it pops up in here. There's a USB C and a lightning cable. Just an Apple cable. Lightning to digital AV. These are actually like 30 bucks. Everything else is in here, but the track phone, where's that at? Now here's a Nest Mini. That's cool. These aren't too pricey, but probably good at least $20, $25. Turtle Beach Battle Bugs. I didn't even know they made these. They're, that's probably like 20 bucks. Those are probably that expensive. iPhone 11 Pro Outer Box Case. I'll probably use that. And we got some ink that looks open. And this cable most likely goes to the phone. If the phone's even in. There, there it is. Right on the side. You know very well, if you watch my videos, I sell a ton of these. Now these sell for 40 bucks all day on, on the internet, on eBay and Facebook. Just sold one today, actually. This is a crock pot classic. That's obviously broken. I'll mess with that later. I don't feel like inverter precision microwave oven. This feels like there's like one thing in here. Another phone, ZTE Blade Vantage 2 by Verizon. Don't know if it's good. 70. This must not be very good because I got quite a few of these. Maybe 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more. HDMI cable. Turn up your TV. And then some kids. Pulsewell probiotics. Which is good till December. Here's a, a baby swing. The Stratus collection. I'll investigate later if it's new. It might be just because of this giant dent. But I'll definitely check out all baby stuff before I sell it. Three more boxes like this total. Let's hope 
Look for some more iPads. Another Keurig. I'm totally fine to get those. Is that $40 right there? Little Mr. Coffee Grinder. LG DVD Writer, Ultra Portable Slim. Probably not many people using these nowadays. I'm gonna guess 20 to 30. Oh yeah, VTEC karaoke machine. Just to once again, I guess if it works, maybe 20 to 30. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I saw that. There's a lamp. Let's see if it's any good looking. Just a kind of a basic everyday wooden lamp. Definitely nothing special. There's a little chip there. That's why it's here with me now. Uh, oh, it's broken there. Never mind. I'm just going to pitch this. I didn't see that at first. No value. No, this is what I meant. Is it saving? Apple AirPods, second, second uh, edition. It was a little bit lighter than than the other ones I got. I'm hoping that doesn't mean that earbuds are missing. There we go. I can't tell. Ready? Come on, be in there. Yes. AirPods second gen, amazing. I cannot believe some of the stuff I'm getting. That's a great find. Here's a Earphone 4 700 headset. I don't think it has a ton of value, it is wireless. But I could probably, I would think 20 to 30, maybe a tiny bit more. Ooh, Beats EP, I don't know what the EP means. Extra pressure. No. Let's see if they're in there. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully those work. Beats are not cheap either. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. From this box. Neck gear Orby. It's a three-way or two, I don't know, whole Wi-Fi system, basically. I have the Google. No. Come on. Multiple items. Oh, yeah. I think this is, this is going to be good. Actually, I know it is. All right, first thing. Oh. Little Nintendo Switch remote. Is this? That was made by Power Ace. It's a cheap company, but it's like a Pokemon one. It's kind of cool. I bet you if that works, it's a minimum of like 20 bucks. We have a Google Chromecast. I don't think these are too expensive. Maybe 20. What are these? I got two of these things. Kids electric toothbrushes. This must have like a built-in timer and stuff to tell them when they're done. Have probably a really cheap ATT prepaid phone. It's a flip phone. Who uses those anymore? Turtle Beach. I think it's one of the cheaper pairs. Maybe $20. Corsair, they're pretty good. HS60 Surround. Let's look this up. Brand new 70. You have to test those out. That might be worth like 30, 40 bucks used. Got Panasonic beard and mustache trimmer.
brand new, about about fifty to sixty bucks. Cool, cool, cool. I'm running out of room. Pretty much boxing myself in. And these are probably expensive. There's three of them. Three of the same exact thing. And I think they're brand new and sealed. Because these you have to open up by zipping that cardboard. It's a Sonicare Diamond Clean Smart. I bet you these are not cheap at all. That one's sealed. And that one's sealed. All of them are brand spanking new. I bet you these are well over a hundred bucks. I'm here because it is hot. So thanks for watching guys. Smash that like button, subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll keep it being able to show you these amazing freaking pilots. Have an awesome day. See ya.